Infinity Photo 2.3 has a new feature. It's got a scale feature with the Move tool. Here's the Move tool. And now with the shape, I can just press turn and bring up this panel. And you've got here Scale, and that's super useful. Please check my previous video on how to use the Scale feature. It can be used in countless ways. But also what you can do before that is you can convert it to a curve, this ellipse. So just convert. And once that's done, you can see now you've got these nodes. But also what you can do, you can go up here, layer, and down here to duplicate linked. And that will create a link between that curve and the duplicate. So click there. And any change you make to one will be changing the others. But again, go to the move tool, select that. Press return or enter on the keyboard. And this panel will pop up. And you can change the scale. Now the scale and the rotation, all those things, that is not affected by the duplicate linked. But everything you create will be duplicate linked. So go here, duplicate, set the number of copies, and set the scale. So you just reduce it down, so create something like that. You could create a variety of different designs. You can also move this transfer origin point and create designs that way, but I'm just going to keep it in the center. And you can see I can create 13, 14, 20, whatever copies of that design. And then I can click OK. And now if you look over here in the layers panel, you've got all these curves are all linked. What that means is if you go over here to the node tool, so here's the node tool, and you can see the nodes. So if I drag that, all of the various curves all change in exactly the same way because of that duplicate link. Now, if I had done it the other way around, the Converting it to a shape afterwards, it wouldn't have worked. You need to do the convert to curves beforehand. But now what you can do, just go here, click and add another point. Again, hover there, you can see a little sort of cursor change. Click again, and you can just drag that out. Again, hover there, click and drag that out. Again, click, and you can drag, and you can distort this design in countless ways to create all kinds of unique shapes and forms, just using that duplicate linked feature. And you, once you're happy with it, of course, you can then just select them all and maybe group them all. Right click and then down to group. So it will become a single group. And then you can manipulate it again with the move tool. So select the move tool, reposition it and create all kinds of different designs. Again, you go here, you see until you do something that changes it, might maybe rasterize it, all those sorts of things. This still, this link is still valid. So again, you can click here. Again, go to the node tool. With the node tool selected, you can see down here, we can select this. And again, you can then move that around and all of those shapes will change as well. So again, just drag that out, maybe add another point and so on. You can see you can warp it and distort it in countless ways using this approach. And this can be done with any of the other shapes. I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Thank you much.